Hello, my name is Dave White. I'm from Liverpool, UK, and I'm here uh, painting the seven Be True to Your School original dunk colourways with Nike. How long have I been into sneakers? Since small, as well as long as I can remember, really, I've always been interested in, in the colours, the shapes. Even being a little kid, you know, I used to see these big things on uh, racks in, in sneaker stores and always loved them. Um, as for them being a subject of my art, I mean, I started a drawing of them like five years ago just because I loved the shape and the colour, um, and then the rest is sort of history. So, using them as a subject of my work five years. I suppose what you could say is my style is the way the paint's applied. I mean, it's quite expressionistic. You know, you could see these as almost like pop art. I take icons and, and you know, use them with my twist. Um, to be honest with you, it's all about the way the paint moves. I mean, that's something that just came naturally as an artist. Um, so it's more about the way the paint, you know, sort of performs, the way it splats. I mean, that's my signature style that I can't explain to you how or why. That's just as soon as I picked up paint, that's what happened. Um, I mean, w with every subject matter, like especially with these works, I mean, I'll, I'll study it for a while. You know, I'll do like a very detailed, quick under sketch to get the shape and the form. Then obviously colour starts getting applied. And then the actual spontaneous way that the paint sort of, you know, applied later on is very, very quick. Um, so I suppose what it's all about really is trying to get something that's instantly recognisable with my twist on it sort of thing. So it's something that looks very spontaneous in places very accurate and in other places really quite loose so it's almost like trying to capture the character of something. If you look at it you always know that the, the actual research and development that's gone into a Nike shoe is so far superior. First and foremost it's built for an athlete to produce or to, to do their sporting on the flip side of that, they release the most interesting colourways, technology, the way you know the airbags being included and in, in signature models, you know the way it, it, they're just on point and always have been, to be honest. And it, it just keeps getting better for me personally. You know the, the Dunk itself is such a classic model. I mean, you know how many other sneaker companies around the globe have, have copied that almost that the flowing lines, it, it, it's such a beautiful shape, you know, from looking at it from side on, that's things that sneakerheads do, you know, just sit there and, and look at these things, the flowing lines, obviously with the original seven, you know, the, the college colourways and things are very special to people, the golden rods are my favourite, the ones I've got on my feet, um, you know, some of the best collabs that Nike have released have been based on the Dunk, the Supreme Dunk Low is my favourite of the, the series where it was a crossover with a Jordan pattern which should never have happened but was allowed through. Um, for me personally it's, it's a classic shape and, and I never tire of, of the actual aesthetic and the clean lines of it. I mean, some of the best experience I've had, I've been through Nike, I mean, you know, five years ago I was taken to the Great Wall of China with a project there with Futura and Stash. Um, the thing I like the most, which is such a pleasure, is coming to a place that I've never been before, meeting the local people, enjoying the culture. It's not, you know, when I come here or come to these events, it's not all about sneakers. It's about taking in the sights and, and getting a bit of local culture, and that's very, very important to me. Um, you know, to, to, to eat local food, to meet local people, to get a vibe of where the place is. I mean, I'll just, once I'm not in an event like this or, or painting or whatever, I'm, you know, I'm out in the sticks, like, enjoying that. And, and that's a massive treat and a great honour and a big pleasure. So I'm always eternally grateful for those opportunities. I would never have imagined I'd seen, you know, in, in my wildest dreams. I mean, I've always... I've always loved drawing, I've always loved painting, you know, 
that's first and foremost what it is and any opportunities to come away or have come away have been you know a really interesting thing but it's like I'd never would have imagined that I'd see the Wales who do what I do with my work so that's been a massive honour. Hey, oh, an amazing city, check it out. Thank you.